everyone and welcome back. It's been two years since Awesome Science with Scarlett. And we're really excited to be back and doing this again. We're in a new state and uh, Scarlett is two years older. I have not aged at all. Scarlett, tell us about you and your new school and briefly why you love science. I'm Scarlett. I'm from Great Hearts. I have lots of friends. I'm made of. I am kind and I, I love my teachers. My teachers are Miss Aguayo and Miss Adolo, and 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 we, we just welcome you to have a great time watching our video. Thank you. Thanks, Scarlett. Three. This episode brought to you by Prickly. It's not at all a contractual paid partnership, but it is cactus water that I've recently discovered, sweetened by agave, and it's delicious. So highly recommend Prickly. Thank you for the non-sponsorship. So when we, when we got started two years ago in California, we kicked it off with a Kaboom series. This series, we're going to make the invisible visible. So today we're going to do work with pH and the changing of colors and we're going to use fruit and vegetables to do so. First, uh, as always, we start with our safety. So before you attempt any of these experiments, you have to make sure you have a lab coat to protect your clothing, especially when you're working with food coloring and things that can stain your clothes. You need gloves to protect your hands and your fingers. You need eye protection so nothing splashes in your eyes. And you need, you want to show them your long pants and closed toed shoes. And, and, we, and we both have matching shoes. We have matching shoes. And we also highly recommend or actually require that all of these experiments be done under the supervision of an adult. So that could be your parents or a trusted adult. Every time, every time you decide, you always have to do have a grown up with you because it's that's one of our safety rules we're t we'll talk about today. Yes, it's very important. So first, we're going to start with a color changing cabbage. And before we started, uh, we got set up. What you want to do is have an adult chop up a red cabbage and boil it. Uh, so we boiled it for about 20 minutes or so. It's actually still pretty warm, but you want the, the purple water from the cabbage because what is the material or the component, so to speak, in the cabbage water that leaches off of the skin of the red cabbage is called anthocyanine, and that is what will um, change uh, in the pH based on what we add to it. So you'll need your chopped up cabbage water. You need two clear glasses. Uh, for this experiment, you'll need baking soda and vinegar. And a tablespoon. Okay, so I'll let you add these when we're ready. And because this is hot, I'm going to pour this in. dark purple, you're right. That is called, uh, I believe, oh, uh, yes, anthocyanide. And it goes without saying, but you want your procedure. You want to make and sure today, that you follow your And instructions. today we will use all of our senses. Yes, we are going to use all of our senses. So, um, okay, so we poured our cabbage juice into our glasses, and what we're going to visualize is the pH. So what is pH? Do you know what pH is? Uh, it's okay if you well, don't. Well, no, I don't. All right, I am happy to tell you what pH is. So pH is a, uh, it is a measure of how acidic or basic something is. And it's on a scale of zero to 14. So when you have water, you're at a perfect seven. So you're completely neutral. Anything below seven on the pH scale is going to be really sour. So that's your lemons and uh, anything that is greater than seven is called basic or alkaline 
and that's your baking soda and things like soap. Um, your pH affects the way food tastes, obviously, whether it's acidic or basic. Uh, baking soda, for instance, is in cookies and it makes them rise. And lemons, as we know, are very sour. Uh, you have pH in your body. It's really important to have that balanced um, because if you you have too much acid buildup or uh, vice versa, then um, that can create imbalances and make you sick. And it's also really important in the environment. So um, if a lake or, or a body of water, for instance, is really acidic, um, then it could harm the plants and animals that are inside. So knowing um, how to see what pH you're at is really important um, and when they're making medicines and things like that too. Okay, so let's get to the fun. So what we're going to do first, Scarlett, um, take your tablespoon and in one of these we're going to put, we're going to start with a base and see what it does to the color of the glass. So if, uh, you're going to need more than that. So a full tablespoon. Can you help? Take it up here. Yeah. Here, why don't I get it and then you can pour it in, okay? Because it's kind of hard. Okay. Clear. And Clear. pour it in the cabbage water and let's see what happens. <gasps> okay, we might need to stir it. If you get a close up there, you can see that it turned green. Um, it turned green oh, and if you, if you want to name it tealish or something, then name it yeah, whatever. Teal, you, you might be able to see it on the... Name it whatever you think it Let's pour a little bit more and see if it gets even lighter in color. So what it's doing is the it's reacting with that um, anthocyanine that's in the... Or cyanin, I should say. Ooh, there we go. And it's a little messy. I'm just trying to show the color change. It worked. See, it exploded. It showed all its color when it rised up. That's right. It rised, it rised up and then it exploded. And then now you can see all the color that's inside that's it. on the top. That's right. Okay, how about now let's go the other direction to an acid. And if you want to... Here, why don't I pour some... So you'll just need regular white, distilled white vinegar. Of course, it's a new bottle, so it's not open yet. Okay. What is this? Alina. Shh. Okay. Okay, hold it really steady. It's really stinky. And pour it in. Let's see what happens. There it turns it a turns little bit light. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. There you see it turns. It, when you look down, it looks very beautiful. It is. It's, kind it's of like red. It's a red. It's a dark red. I don't know if you can see. And then it's a, a blue. So with that, it. Uh, it's a green. Yeah, or green. You're right. So with that, you can tell what is the acid and what is the base. So whatever you want to call these two, just call it. Call it your way, or call it in Spanish, any way you like. And it, yeah, if you want to speak in Spanish, that is that is great. We are all inclusive to all cultures here. And Scarlett's learning Spanish. While we get the next uh, set up, do you want to tell us your one to ten in Spanish? Yeah, I'll just tell it right now. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And I learned this from Great Hearts. Uh, Mrs. Also not Mrs. sponsored. Mrs. But call us. Senora Walker, she teaches me Spanish in PE. So so I'm from Great Hearts. I just I just do a lot of great things there. It's really fun. If you want to join in Great Hearts, come on, you could you could go to Great Hearts, sign in. That's but awesome. it is a lot of money. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes it is. Oh, so now <laughs> So now our next, our next experiment, we're doubling it up today since unlike our Kaboom series, the experiments are a little bit shorter. And what we have for this one is a lemon volcano. So what we want to do first, uh, your materials, you want to have, uh, we have two lemons and have an adult help you cut it in half. 
You need a spoon so we can mush and um, squish the inside some of the juices flowing and also just to so we have an environment for our volcano. You'll want some food coloring. I have four colors here. I'll let Scarlett pick the two that she wants. You'll need baking soda again and dish soap. So for this also uh, is just a simulation of an acid-based relationship. So um, you know your lemons are going to be your acid and your baking soda will be your base. And we'll see what happens when you combine them. We expect a, a colorful fizz Juicy. <laughs> this is why you wear lemons, eye protection. Lemons, lemons are squishy. And some of you, it even got on my nose, but it doesn't matter. That's why we wear these gloves to touch and, and the uh, goggles. Uh, they wear a lab coat. Okay. They wear and long pants. You're right. We talked about all of gloves. that. So, so that's all you need to do science. All you need to do is and the materials for your materials. experiment and your yeah and your procedure. Okay, so we have our uh, our lemons. I've I've sort of squished them and mushed them and uh, loosened up the insides there. And then what we're going to want to do now is add. So what colors do you want, Scarlett? I would love these two because you want blue and red. Okay, so we're gonna do. We actually could do all four if you want. I want to do all four. Okay, why don't you do a few drops? of red in that one and I'll do a few drops of blue in this one so you're just like two drops or even maybe even three but yeah oh red is very very it's a lot okay and then why let me I, try to spread it out a little it's okay why don't you do a green there and then I will do actually yellow is quite pointless uh so let me jello oh perfect that's a lot so why don't we do another blue no we don't need uh we don't need yellow well, yellow, how are you going to see yellow on yellow? It's going to be yeah. tough. So, do you want red? Which other color do you want instead? I would do this one. Blue? Because I love blue a lot. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Kind of blue and red are my favorite colors. I do like rainbow and... And we're going to, you want to, look, why don't you squirt a little bit of dish soap on each lemon? So with the dish soap, the purpose of the dish soap will trap the carbon dioxide gas that is created. So when you mix the citric acid in the lemon with the uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, it creates a carbon dioxide gas. And the soap will trap the gas and will create bubbles and fizz. It's kind of some of, some so of now, the bubbles went on the paper. Yeah, we made a big mess with our um, cabbage juice. But okay, so now Scarlett, if you want to take your fingers and get some baking soda and sprinkle them in. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a close up, but it, there is, there is a fizz. And yeah, and the more, probably the more soap, why don't we do, nice. Maybe some more soap. And it'll create more of a explosion. Okay, that's a lot. Can I do another drop? If you can see it, but there is a reaction occurring. There's lots of bubbles, I think, we have plenty. So and, and the red has spilled everywhere. So it definitely table. it is spilled everywhere on our table. As uh, like our last kabooms, we have our our cleaning crew coming after. And next time phone. maybe maybe uh we will have my sister Alina. She jumping she jumping from one rocking chair to onto one of our bed mattresses in our bedroom. We have a bone bed, we sleep together, so that doesn't matter, but. All right, let's, well. Let's move on. Yeah, we can move on. on. So we talked about why it worked. Uh, we learned a little bit today about pH and also the reaction between acid and bases. This is all coming out. Uh, we're really excited to kickstart our show again. Uh, we've missed it, it's something we really look forward to. And I think next week we are going to extract DNA from strawberries. And just to remind you, and just to remind you, today this is our first episode in Arizona. That is right. Our state is Arizona. It, that is right. We moved uh, from it's because California. California was too expensive, so we moved here. That's right. 
That is absolutely correct. Love to those in San Diego, our friends uh, and family that are still there. We love to visit. It's a great place to visit. All right, Scarlett, anything else you want to say before we sign off? Uh, if you have any more science, science things we should do, just let us know in the comments and we'll, and we'll add you in our next video. Goodbye. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for joining Awesome Science with Scarlett. Those of you who have been here with us from the beginning, we love you and we'll see you next week. Can you say bye? Bye.